to convert our gas go-kart to electric, we have to remove the gas engine and get, get and install an electric engine. The gas tank on an electric go-kart would be covered by the batteries. The kill switch to turn off a gas engine on the go-kart will be replaced by a switch and solenoid. The throttle, which is the same as the gas pedal, would be in a potentiometer on the electric motor system and the carburetor would be covered by a speed controller. After doing a lot of research for our electric go-kart, I come up with this motor on eBay and just some details here. It's a Manta 2 motor it says it's uh, no expensive controller required. Permanent magnet motor, no controller required, just hook to auto battery and go. Use simple solenoid contractors for on and off. Let your battery voltage be your speed controller. Low speed, medium, high, and hyper. Just plug and play. No expensive controller needed. I could not find a switch like this anywhere on eBay or Amazon or even on YouTube anywhere where anybody's made their own. So I had to try to come up with one myself. Across. This guy. It's called a V-Glide wiper case. And there's a wiper that goes from this center point here connects a brush that goes across each one of them terminals. That's the back side of it here. That's where each one of your battery cables would go to. So this V-Glide wiper switch off of a club cart golf cart. I'm thinking I might be able to repurpose it for our speed controller. The way this normally works is Each one of these terminals has cables going to it. They go to resistor coils. They go to the motor. And as the swiper goes across the different contacts here, it increases the voltage going to the motor. The way this is designed, the power usually comes in through that main circle at the top. That, that's the wiper. that goes across these contact brush bars here. The wiper has a brush on it. Then the power goes out each one of these terminals to each one of the cables as the swiper goes across them to increase the voltage going to the motor. For our purposes, we're gonna try to run it the exact opposite way. In the diagram I've drawn up here, we have our motor, we have three batteries in series, it makes 36 volts. We have our diagram of our V-Glide. We have our solenoid and key switch. <coughs> so the way this works, like I said, opposite of the way it's designed to work for this go or golf cart is as the swiper is at the first terminal we're not going to have it connected to a battery so that will be considered full stop as it comes up to the second and third terminals those will be hooked to the first battery so those two be terminals will only be getting 12 volts as the swiper goes up and contacts the next two terminals or either one they'll be looped together they're connected to the second battery in series and that'll provide 24 volts. And then as the swiper goes on up, our last three terminals will be looped together and those will be hooked to the third battery in the series and those will be getting 36 volts of power. So as our swiper goes across each one of these terminals, 
the brush will pick up the power, whether it's 12 volts, 24 volts, or 36 volts, send it back through the arm, or the arm, I guess you would say, the wiper arm, to our solenoid. And that's how we will cut the power going to the motor, if there's ever a problem, or how we shut the whole unit down. And we have our key switch for the solenoid. And the power is connected on up and goes to the motor. And then the ground of the third battery in series goes to the motor to complete the circuit. I got a uh, V-Glide assembly from a buddy of mine that runs a golf cart shop. And this one's set up a little bit different than the one we've seen on the computer. And this one, it has its own the very first terminal on the rack is the actual, goes to the wiper arm. So we have a first terminal that's segregated from everything else. And then we have eight other terminals, just like our other wiper. So the way we're going to set this up is that first segregated terminal is our power out to the motor. That goes to the actual wiper with the brush on it. The actual first terminal with a contactor, the first and second ones, are full stop. We're not going to hook anything to them. That way when the wiper is at either one of those or at the bottom of the stroke, it's, the motor does not receive any power. The third terminal is hooked to our first battery in the series, and it's only receiving 12 volts, and that will be low power. We skip the fourth terminal. And the fifth terminal is hooked to the second battery in the series, which provides 24 volts. That will be medium power. Skip the sixth terminal. Then seventh and eighth terminal are connected to the third battery in the series, which provides 36 volts. That will be our high speed. So each one of these terminals are connected to our batteries at different stages. As the swiper starts at the bottom and swings up, contacting different terminals, it will be putting the different amounts of voltage through the arm as the power to the motor. That power will come out this line. We'll have a solenoid in line to shut, turn it on and turn it off. That's our main kill switch basically. Also on this V-Glide, it has an internal switch that's operated by the swiper to turn the solenoid on and off. That way the solenoid's not on all the time. So we have the solenoid also hooked in line with the key switch. That way we can still kill the whole system. course we have our motor at the end so this is our theory let's see if it works motor test one well for our first test of our theory here with our repurposed v-glide we're gonna try it on a small scale I have three small batteries that I had lying around each one are 12 volts I have our V-Glide unit that I got from my buddy. Got our battery cables all hooked up to our batteries here. This is our power out to our motor. First two terminals aren't used. Third terminal goes to the 12 volt in the series. That terminal is not used. This one goes to 24 volts in the series. This one's not used. This one goes to 36 volts in the series. And then this one will be bridged. So I've got it all hooked up here. Grab our lever here. I'll go on the other side that way we can see the slider itself here.
Okay, that there's 24 or 12 volts. 24 volts. 36 volts. Here's our motor. 12 volts. 24 volts. 36 volts. Seems to work on small series, a small scale. 24 volts. 12 volts. And full off. Like I said, though. our main what are we at here? this is our main power to the motor it loops around this cable and goes to the brushes here as it our first two terminals aren't used so you see that bottom one and then the one you can see half of those aren't being used that's why nothing happens when we get to this third one that's 12 volts Skip over that one. We got 24 volts. Skip over that one. We got 36 volts. any meters hooked up or anything but it seems to be working for our next video we'll break out the big motor and we'll try all this on the big scale with the solenoid and key switch and everything in place before we mount it up on the cart <laughs>